What is up YouTube? It is Docky your Docky Style Gaming and I am back at it again with another God Fall video for you all today. Now this video I've actually been meaning to put out for a while if you're in the Discord. I actually already covered this before but we did get some DLC 1 or I guess expansion number 1 information when it comes to Godfall. And then I also wanted to talk about some quick fixes or I guess just quality of life things that I'd like to personally see come to Godfall to put the game in a slightly better place. So what I always in any more of y'all's time let's actually just hop straight into this info now when it comes to godfall and its first expansion there was a lot of speculation about it potentially involving one of the realms we haven't seen whether it be the spirit realm which i now don't think will actually happen just because there's actually now an in-game lore to what the spirit realm actually is that's what you actually go into when you're looking for resources in the open world that's the spirit realm now maybe they could still do something with that and maybe you fight bosses in the spirit realm and that's how you attack them but I don't think we're going to be doing anything with the spirit realm per se. It's just like an augmented reality version of the basic realms in the Godfall. So I don't think we're getting anything with the spirit realm. But there was a lot of speculation on the fire realm. Because clearly that is a realm we didn't get to go to. And it is the realm that is right above the air realm. Which clearly is the last realm we touch on when we are playing the main campaign. But due to some of this information we just got. It seems like we're not actually going to get the fire realm right off the bat and potentially we might actually start getting all new worlds in the game so let me actually break down what all the information we got and where from i'll be leaving a full link to the video as well in the video description if you want to check out the whole interview but this interview came from the technical producer who spoke with a youtube channel called dream hacks around the release of the global launch of godfall on the ps5 now towards the very very end of the video they were asking the technical producer what's next for godfall and this is where he essentially brought up their very first expansion. He talked about continuing to explore the world that they created and the concept behind the Skybreakers monolith is that infinite worlds are captured within it. He said what they love about the original pitch is that the Skybreakers monolith gives them infinite possibilities and a playground to do whatever they want and create whatever they want. And then ultimately went on to say that they're excited about this prospect of the very first expansion in the game. Now I've mentioned in an older video that essentially right after the game went gold, the technical producer also mentioned that the team had already started working on the first expansion. And of course we know that it'll be dropping in 2021. Now we don't know the exact date or how the pandemic actually messed with their work schedules, but here's to hoping that it's potentially late January or early February. Really don't want to have to wait till March for it to drop, mainly because sooner is always better than later but i also hope that some of the much needed quality of life fixes which i'll get to in a bit will actually drop in the game now it's actually pretty interesting that they didn't even mention the fire realm when talking about this but it is kind of cool to see that they're already thinking of different worlds which could potentially mean new free roam locations a new story new weapons new enemies new bosses new dreamstones potentially even an increased level cap new archon modes would be really nice and yeah i know it sounds like i'm asking for a lot but just the thought and the mention of of a new DLC is always hope for more to be added. And yeah, I know there still is the Fire Realm that I'm sure a lot of people are probably wanting to explore as well, but personally, I'll take a whole new world over a single elemental location any day. Though, don't get me wrong, I do hope that they eventually or ultimately touch on the Fire Realm at some point in Godfall's life cycle. But personally, let me know what y'all want to see in the first expansion. I gave you a list of some stuff that I'm hoping to see. It'd be nice to get all of it, but come on, I'm realistic. I know we won't. Moving on to this next part, though and was actually going to be in my final review but I wanted to save it for a separate video because again a lot of it is more quality of life and yeah it'd be nice if it was in the game and I guess I could have put it in the review but some of it's kind of minor and just tweaks that I feel like personally wouldn't put the game in a lot better position with some of the other looters that are currently out there right now and I mean if we're being real first and foremost if we're just talking about quality of life this game needs matchmaking I said this in multiple videos it's kind of ridiculous that a looter doesn't launch when matchmaking this game definitely and sorely needs matchmaking now yes i do have a discord and i know there's other discords out there with lfgs people are always playing and looking to play and inviting voice chats things like that and that's great but matchmaking is always at least welcomed and needed i mentioned even with avengers having a terrible matchmaking system yeah it may have sucked but at least they had it you had the option to potentially play with other players now another small quality of life thing that i'd like to see in the game 
and like matchmaking i know they already addressed that they are currently working on it but a field of view slider would be nice now generally i don't mind the position of the camera but sometimes it seems like it's a little too close and i'd like to pull back just a bit especially when you have or at least surrounded by multiple enemies so a field of view slider would be a bit nice now these next four topics are things that i feel like would just enhance the game overall and honestly some of these requests are pretty simple fixes that'll put this game in a lot better spot when it comes to end game now ball sense is a super simple fix all you gotta do is upscale the level just make sure that it matches our current player's level meaning we get the same loot that our level is and the enemies that we fight are our same level so we're not just running through a whole boss hunt in five to ten seconds literally the easiest fix to that game mode and boom everybody will have a reason to do some boss hunts now if they wanted to one up it and be a bit nicer they could add boss specific loot so that they could give players a reason to want to replay some of these bosses similar to that of borderlands but honestly i'll just take scaling the boss hunts to the player levels because then i'll at least have a reason to replay them for some loot and there will at least be some challenge behind it now another thing that could use a bit of tweaks is the free roam now as i mentioned in my review i enjoy the free roam there's actually nothing too too wrong with it but like i mentioned in that as well more is always better so maybe throw in a random boss that's just walking around when you're in the free roam maybe some random events and of course more in-game resources you're going to start finding out once you're leveling and enchanting a lot of your gear it's going to take a lot of resources so when you're at least out in the open world have some more resources or an abundance of resources for players to farm now this next bit kind of ties into boss hunts but honestly just any game mode in general this game desperately needs loot pools now i don't know if it's the destiny borderlands or warframe in me but i'm so used to dedicated missions or bosses or enemies having loot tied to them so it'll it'd be a little easier for players to farm what specific loot they want and with the game that's this build heavy it'd be nice to know where to go to farm what pieces of loot or augments and things like that so i think this game having a loot pool would actually be pretty nice though it's not a deal breaker if i'm being real and the last quality of life thing that i'd like to see them add in the game is reroll now primary stats are the same though i have noticed that percentages can be different on the exact same items which is nice and completely fine the secondary stats though are randomly generated and can be upgraded and even new ones can be added via the upgrade but for very particular builds especially a game that relies heavily on their build system it would be nice to re-roll gear to get that god roll stat that we really want and i know some people may think that it takes the fun out of farming for what you need but in a game that really doesn't have dedicated loot pools who knows how long it'll take for you to find another one of the whatever pieces of loot you're looking for and then ultimately that's when re-rolling comes into play it'll cost resources to re-roll think maybe something like kuva from warframe and now players will have to farm those resources to re-roll your item and then boom the endless grind and endless farming continues whether it's to farm loot farm resources upgrade or enchant gear or potentially re-rolling it just adds even more to do and to farm for in godfall but hey that may just be me so let me know what you personally want to see both come to the expansion number one or added to it and what quality of life or fixes do you want to see come to godfall as well as i mentioned in my review the game isn't necessarily in a bad spot it's just a couple tweaks that they could do to enhance some of their in-game modes and keep players coming back and wanting to play like i've always said that is the defining factor of a looter is its end game and though godfall does have a pretty decent amount of it some of their in-game activities are kind of pointless to run so some of these things that i suggested would at least give players reasons to want to rerun some of those game modes and just have people constantly farming your game but again those are just my opinions let me know in the comments section what you all personally think or want to see added to the game and what are y'all hopes or opinions for the future dlc so thank you all for watching like always the link to that original video with the interview will be in the video description along with links to my social media accounts as well and a link to the discord like i said that article or that video actually came out like two weeks ago i mentioned it in my discord i never made a video for it and i probably should have so again if you're not in the discord definitely join because i'm always updating and we're always talking all things godfall or just video games in general so definitely join the discord if you haven't and outside of that that's really all i got so leave a like if you liked the video if you didn't still leave a like i am out of here guys thanks for the love thanks for the subs peace